Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda and in this training video, I'll talk to you about the SBA 3P loan application, how to initiate contact with the vendor so you can get your stimulus money from the CARES Act, from the Paycheck Protection Program that, that's administered by the Small Business Administration in coordination with the US Treasury. Now, in my previous training, I talked about how to find a lender and I've also in other trainings talked about the differences between the EIDL and the 3P pro program. So make sure you check those out so you have some foundational information before you sort of dig deep into the actual process and roll up your sleeves. Now, the way this works is when you initiate contact with the lender, one of two things is going to happen. One, the lender is basically going to send you an email saying, all right, here are next steps. Or number two, the lender will say, wait a minute, I am overloaded. I'll get back to you. Give me a little bit more time. Now, generally you will find that the bigger companies, the bigger lenders, the Bank of Americas of the world, the Wells Fargo of the the Wells Fargo, you know, Chase companies like that. Generally, and each each bank is a little bit different because each bank is is operated independently. What happens is they will generally reach out to you and say, okay, here's your next step. Here's what you need to do to submit documents. That usually, in my experience, is taking anywhere from four days to to as much as ten days. Now. There could be other credit unions or other institutions that simply get back to you after seven or eight days and say, wait a minute, we're still processing. We need a bit more time. Now, I know this can be a little frustrating because, you know, we need the funds quickly because, you know, a lot of us needed the money like yesterday. But I'm, you know, I'm here to tell you what's what the reality is as of this moment. I'm hoping by the time you watch this, things have improved and, and you know, the process is much faster. But this is how things are today at the time I'm filming and recording this video. So I got I mentioned earlier in the previous training that I got an email from Bank of America and Bank of America basically said small business clients with a business lending and a business deposit relationship can apply. A pre-existing business relationship with us could be a Bank of America business credit card, a business loan or a line of credit. Now they also say that small business owners who do not have a business lending and business deposit relationship with us should contact their current business loan provider. Now, again, I want to tell you, this is what Bank of America is doing. I am not saying that every bank is doing this and this needs to be done. This video is intended to provide you with general information about my experiences so that you can be more educated when you dive deeper into this process. It's not legal. It's not financial advice. You are responsible for your own decisions. And, and this, again, is specifically from Bank of America. Okay, all right, so let's move on. Bank of America says, all applications, information and correspondence about the Paycheck Protection Program at Bank of America will occur online and through email, including the application process, submission of required documents and follow up correspondence. I know this, by the way, because I actually did this. I uploaded all my documents through a portal called an intralinks portal through the Bank of America website. But you have to wait for Bank of America to email you and request you to access that portal. Now, again, Bank of America says you must have a pre-existing business lending and business deposit relationship with Bank of America as of February 15, 2020. They give you a list of criteria that need to be followed. And this web link, which I'll include in the description below, is important. They ask you to go to a website and on this email is bankofamerica.com slash forward slash S B that's small business resources beginning on Friday, April 3rd. So you can go to the website, check it out. And if you have a pre-existing relationship, just as bank of America wants it, you should be able to apply. But even if you don't, you can get a sense of what that bank is doing. And hopefully your bank or a bank that you work with is, is streamlined and efficient. Now I'm not saying that bank of America is the best bank to work with, or is the only bank that does this. I'm just telling you what's been my experience going through the paycheck protection program with them okay now this is important and i'm going to sort of dig deeper into this in the next training video the documents that you need to submit for the paycheck protection program bank of america says that these should include now the word include means that there's a bunch more documents and i'll get into that as well these include 2019 payroll that's total payroll for the full year 2019 by employee as reported to the irs 2019 independent contractor costs they they apparently want to know that as well, which is interesting because you cannot include 1099 in the average monthly payroll calculation. They want a payroll report as of February 15, 2020. So they need all of that information that Bank of America goes on to give you some additional criteria under the CARES Act, which, which is the criteria that has been set forth for the eligibility for the Paycheck Protection Program. And they talk a little bit about the Economic Injury Disaster Loan as well. Now, again, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan, uh, like I mentioned in the previous training, is directly 
through the Small Business Administration. And by the way, if you have any questions about the Economic Injury Disaster Loan, good luck getting through to the SBA on the phone. You'll be on hold for at least, I would imagine, at least a half an hour, probably, probably several hours. And today, when I called them, they basically said, as long as you have an application number, there's nothing else we can tell you. Just wait to get an email from us. So there, I probably just saved you a couple of hours if you applied for the EIDL loan. Also on a side note, if you applied for the economic injury disaster loan, the forgivable advance is up to $10,000. That doesn't mean you'll get $10,000. It's up to $10,000. And also the Small Business Administration, there have been some emails and some reports coming out that the Small Business Administration will give you $1,000 per employee up to a maximum of $10,000 as a forgivable loan advance. Check directly with the Small Business Administration, but this is something that I've heard through the grapevine. Again, you'll need to verify this with the Small Business Administration website. So Bank of America said they're an SBA 7A lender and so on and so forth. Now, what happened when I actually submitted my application through the, through the Bank of America Paycheck Protection Program website? I got an email from them that you can see on your screen here. The email said, Gather documentation about your small business that may be needed, including a payroll report. We talked about that. Look for additional communications about your loan application. And I actually did end up getting that additional communication just a few hours ago. And I'm going to go through that with you as well. So you can organize those documents as well. And it says, please don't proactively deliver or send documents to your financial center. Now, this is important. If you're working with a banker or someone at your local branch, what I've been told by my personal banker is that they don't have that much information at Bank of America anyway, and that this information is going through a central, a central division, if you will. So what that means is you probably by watching this YouTube video and by going through these links and by watching my other trainings on the EIDL and the PPL program, you probably know more than your local banker. Okay. So what you should do is don't waste your time talking to your local banker if you know more than your local bank. And I think by now you can decide for yourself. In other words, spend time in, in coordinating or reaching out to the right division at the bank that you work with and, and then initiate the Paycheck Protection Program. Most likely it's going to be online as opposed to expecting your local banker to return your call because frankly, they have an impossible job. They're trying to find out information as fast as you are. And in fact, send this video to the local banker that will probably you know, get them up to speed as well. Now, here's another email that somebody I know got from another lender. And that lender, interestingly enough, basically said, thank you for contacting First Home Bank regarding the Paycheck Protection Program. As you are aware, the program has generated extraordinary interest. And this is the important part. Due to overwhelming demand, we have suspended new applications for 3P loans. It doesn't sound, you know, it's not ideal, but what are you going to do if they're overloaded and they're smaller banks? That's what happens. We are working tirelessly to process existing loan applications. However, we are still in the process of reviewing the volume of submissions received through our online platform. That's basically them saying we're overloaded and we're not going to take any new applications. We're just going to work on the stuff that we have. As such, you should be aware that your loan may not be processed in a timely fashion. In fact, they go on to say, should you desire to uh, apply to another institution, you can just send us an email saying, you know, uh, you're going to go to another institution. That tells you how overloaded the system is. So again, um, going back to what you should do about this, know that when you reach out to a lender, the lender will probably get back to you in hopefully a minimum of three to four days, a maximum of eight to 10 days, depending on their, depending on their, uh, how busy they are and ask you for more documentation, which by the way, uh, Bank of America did, and I'll, I'll create another training to walk you through the documentation they requested. So again, subscribe to the channel. You'll get that information as soon as I release it, which will be very, very soon. Number two, the, the lender might just say, Hey, I need a little bit more time. I, I'm going to get to it and I'll let you know. In the meantime, if you can't wait, then go somewhere else. That, that again, that's not the solution to what we need, but that's just the way things are as of right now. My guess, my prediction is that as the coordination between the US Department of Treasury and the Small Business Administration increases, as they communicate with banks about the precise guidelines, banks will feel a lot more comfortable doing these kinds of programs. In fact, more importantly, the limits for the banks need to be increased. More money needs to be made available to the banks, which by the way, in addition to the additional $349 billion as an additional $250 billion 
that is probably is going to be passed very, very soon. So all of those things are happening and for the money to eventually trickle down from the banks where the banks feel comfortable handing out the money to the small business owners like yourselves, that's, that's simply going to take a little bit of time. What you can do in the meantime is be aware of what's going to happen so you don't get any nasty surprises. That was the purpose of this training. Start to prepare the documents, which, which I'll talk to you about as well. And then, and then you know, just uh, wait, wait to hear back from them. And in the meantime, do everything you can to, to stay afloat. I am doing, you know, again, a lot of research goes into these trainings. I appreciate you watching. Please click like so that, uh, so that you know, I know that uh, my hard work is, is, is being appreciated. I would really appreciate that. That would really mean a lot to me. Please click subscribe because that will give you instant updates because you need these updates in real time and you'll get notifications. Thank you so much. Don't forget to check out the other videos that are also linked below and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.